K2 have shaken up their range this year. They've got a few new models. They've got the Carve Air, which is a pointy directional shape. They've got the Cool Bean, which is the short stumpy thing that my colleague Duffy really loved earlier this year. But they're not stupid. They know that there's still a market for a classic all mountain snowboard. And that's what this is, the fast plant for 2015, 2016. So what's so great about it? Well, I'll go through the tech first. It's a true twin, nose and the tail exactly the same. And profile wise, it's flat through the majority, but the fast plant has what K2 call tweak ends. So at the nose and the tail, the kick is a more gradual transition. It's a really smooth blend into the flat section. That's supposed to help with butters, and I can tell you it really does. This thing presses like a demon. I had loads of fun busting out my best old school 90s moves on this. I was doing some nose spins. In my head, I was Terrier in TB2. In reality, I probably looked a little bit like a clumsy ballet dancer pirouetting. The fast plan is high up in K2's range. It comes in at well over 400 pounds in the UK, probably pushing $500 in the States. And obviously with that, you're gonna get a sintered base. This thing is rapid. Flex-wise, as you'd expect from a traditional high-end board, this thing is pretty stiff. It's got uh, a bamboo yakal, which is K2's tech term for basically bamboo. Super light, but it is pretty stiff. There's plenty of carbon running through the nose and the tail. And in the middle, it's got an ollie bar. If you flex this thing, it really adds a little bit of resistance to the middle. If you're an aggressive rider, and you're able to press it hard enough, you get a good bit of snap out of it. So how does it actually feel in general? Well, I found the fast plant to be really stable. I don't know whether it's because of the, the, the flat profile that I was talking about earlier, but in a straight line, this thing, it doesn't twitch like some boards do. Obviously with this thing being a true twin, it's gonna be comfortable going switch and I definitely found that was the case. I found it really easy to grab as well. I think that's probably down to the snap that this thing's got. So it was popping up, the board was close enough to my body that it was easy enough to grab a hold of it and give it some tweak. All in all, it's a really solid, lightweight freestyle board. If you like riding the park, going over decent sized kickers, then it's powerful enough for that. It's not gonna fold on the landing. And in the, uh, in, in the fine traditions of an all mountain board. Obviously this thing is pretty capable over any terrain. So all of that coupled with that pretty high end price tag points to uh, a serious snowboarder really. This is a great choice if you're a season air. You want one board, minimal fuss. Um, yeah, take a look at this. It's the 2015-2016 K2 Fast Plant.